Boom, baby! What is going on YouTube, Foxy Cooper coming to you guys here with a brand new video, and in today's video, we are using the brand new Akimbo Snake Shot Pistols. In Season 2, there is the new Akimbo perk for all pistols. You unlock this perk by doing certain challenges and all that good stuff. So pretty much what you had to do to unlock the Akimbo attachment for the Magnum was you had to get three kills in five individual games while using the recon perk so put recon on and use snake shot and just go kill three people in five games and yeah you'll be good to go so if you guys do enjoy this video make sure you guys leave a like down below subscribe turn on notifications and let me know what you guys think of season two down in the comments without further ado let's go bros all right so this wait okay yeah this is the brand new map all right so this is the brand new map this is um atlas superstore this is a pretty good map actually it's not that bad of a map it's a pretty good map it reminds me a lot of sovereign from call of duty ghosts that's what this reminds me of oh yikes and we got our dual wielded pistol action here hell yeah dude i had a lot of fun using these on stream today if you guys don't follow me on twitch make sure you guys definitely go do so um let me see Yep. We got the we got the new assault rifle as well. We'll cover that tomorrow or the day after or whatever But I, I want to cover these today because I haven't really seen anyone make a video on them and then also um, I just think that the, the, they're just like freaking sweet. Yeah, it, it's not they're not like the Akimbo models from MW2 or anything like that Which I feel like a lot of people thought they were gonna be like that the one weird thing about this is that when you don't have any rounds left and you only have six bullets, it doesn't go 3-3 three, three with ammunition. It goes six into one side, which I think is kind of weird. Double kill. Oh, well. Triple kill. Well, so much for that. Oh, dude, we almost had the fifth, man. We almost had the fifth. That was kind of nice there, bros. Oh, dude, I got shot in the back. My back fat. No one's watching my back fat. I've been doing a lot of this jumping crap lately. So, big thanks to Immortal and Espresso. One of my big questions when this game came out was, yo, where is where, where is Akimbo? And I said this with Black Ops 4 as well because Black Ops 4 didn't have Akimbo. It had it for the SOGs, but it didn't have it for the pistols or anything like that. So I was just wondering, you know, where, where, where is Akimbo? Where is Akimbo in this game? And this game finally brought back the Akimbo pistols, which I think is fucking dope. And I think it's really cool that they made it available through a challenge as well. I think that's really dope. Oh no, dude, he had a rocket. What a bastard, dude. Oh my god, I just spawned here! So I played a lot of shipment this past weekend. And so these spawns aren't really surprising me anymore. Goodbye. And I just killed myself. That's awesome. Damn, bro. I need to, I need to get like a nice, nice clip real quick. Come on. Fight! No, dude! Double kill. Triple kill. Oh, oh my kill. god! Okay! 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 Kill the spree. That, that was that was filthy. That was absolutely filthy. Uh, what do I have on this class? No, dude, I, I knew I shouldn't have done it. Holy shit, that was filthy. Imagine if we had sleight of hand for this. I'd like, to, I'd like to drop streaks. I would like to drop some type of streak. Real up close, these things are really nice. These things are so good. But it's it's the far away game that you gotta look out for. Like, you're not gonna perform that with these. Like, holy shit, man. It's not like the 680 or the 725 or whatever. It's not like those. But they are super fun to use. I will say that. They're dumb fun to use. And that's what this game needs more of. It needs more fun things to use. Personally, I think that this update's like probably... I, I think it's better than season one. I think this update is better than season one. And it, I don't even think it's close. Okay. All right, well, I guess, I guess we'll get streaks this way. Did I get, did I, did I get a Harrier? 
Yes, I did. Oh, man. I thought... Oh, dude, I thought that was a collat. Holy shit. It's just fun to run around with these. It adds a little bit of diversity to the game, too. You know, there's also something in the shop that you can buy. I think it's the 1911s. You can go buy them in the shop if you want. You don't have to, though. You know, it's, it's, it's completely up to you. Well, that was nice. I do find it a little weird. I, I wonder if they gave this like a damage nerf when you equip a Kimbo because I feel like a lot of these should be one shots, but they're just not. I don't really know. I didn't really do research on it. I just been using them because they're just like super fun to use. Like that. <laughs> Of course he's got a rocket launcher, why wouldn't he? How do you, how, how, what the fuck? Uh, okay, so, <laughs> love that, fuck yeah, dude. Jeez, what kind of dog do I have? She's a German Shepherd mixed with a pit. Love that fucking spawn. Hell yeah, spawn me right in front of somebody else again, please. Turns me on. Jesus fucking Christ. That's ridiculous. Taking Charlie, stand by. They're all running ghosts. Absolutely wrecked. Absolutely shrecked. Taking Alpha, stand by. Absolutely melted. Absolutely destroyed. Why? Okay, I, I want to know why it gave me only one snake shot. <sighs> All right, that, that's that's a decent gameplay, I guess. Oh my god, dude! I have the muzzle attachment on this just because it's supposed to help with um with like recoil stability or like recoil control or whatever. These are more of a close range uh, close range type of weapon. Obviously, the snake shot is pretty close range as well. That one nerf that it got really messed with it, in my opinion. Um, and like, that's not a bad thing, of course, but this guy's just crouching, waiting for people to come by, I guess. It's not a bad thing. I think a lot of people just anticipated this being a lot more OP than it really is. And it could be so much more. Right, I'm gonna try and flank this way. Never mind. No, I'm not, because there's a guy mounted up with an M4 right there! Fuck, man. God, every single time I'm trying to get like a three or four piece, it never works out. <laughs> yeah, he just got destroyed. How the fuck did he know I was there? Oh, he saw. Oh, yeah, no shit. I'm, I'm fucking stupid. I forget that I have lasers on this. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Oof. So yeah, as you guys can see, the snake shot is pretty OP. 
It's pretty insane. It's it's they're nice to use. Like I said, they're fun to use. And personally, I think they're fucking dope. Ah. And I think the dual wielding is awesome. Yeah, you could use the single, you know, snake shot. But I just think that dual wielding is so awesome in FPS games. I think that it's so dope to have that kind of customization in a game. Yeah, it, it's weird. Every single time I see someone using the ghost skin, I always want to like just punch them. I just want to punch the skin right in the face, dude. Because <laughs> they're all like, I feel like they're all like little tryhards, man. Guys, I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll leave the class set up here on the screen for you. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.